So iOS 15 brings a lot of changes to your iPhones, but you still have the same old icons and home screen from last year. So here's how you can customize your home screen, your icons, and your widgets in iOS 15. So let's kick things off by changing the icons. So I use this application called Moloko or Moloko because they have a ton of free icon packs and there are no app reroutes with this application. They have some really nice ones right here and all of them are free. They even have icons from iOS 6 right here, so that is also really nice. Now I'm using Nightlight right here. You can have them for stock applications or for third-party applications. So click on download and right from here, just click on allow. And it says a profile has been downloaded. So simply open up your settings application and just go to the profile section. You'll see this right here. So simply install the profile and simply enter your password. Now I already have this and you can see them right on the home screen. They look really nice. Now if you want that widget, I use an application called Color Widgets, which not only has widgets, but even icon packs and even themes right here. So they have a proper theme section and you can just simply apply a theme and choose it right from here. And this makes life way easy. So simply click on a theme and you have the wallpaper, you have the icon pack, you have the widgets. You can simply install all of that and apply that to your home screen. So this is a quick way. The only caveat is that some of these icon packs and widgets, they are not unlocked, so you have to pay for them. But most of them are free and you can just simply apply them on your home screen. You can even customize them if you want. You can change the color, you can change the fonts. So let's say we want this one right here. Click on edit widget and you can change the color for the background, for the foreground, even for the text. So you can easily customize it however you want to. Simply click on set widget and choose a slot and you're pretty much done. So go on the home screen, go to the widget screen, search for color widgets and then add the widget. Click on the widget, then click and select the widget you choose. So we have widget two right here. And right here we have the widget and you are pretty much done. Now, if you want to make your own widgets, you can use Widgetsmith, which is a free application that allows you to customize and make your own widgets from the ground up. So we have all the sizes, we have small, medium and large, and then we have a ton of free templates. Some of them are paid, most of them are free. And the free ones, they are all really nice. You can choose any of these, you can change the colors, you can change the fonts, you can basically change anything you want and then simply save it to have that widget on your home screen. Now, if you don't want to design your own widget, you can use Widgie, which also is a free application. There are a ton of developers who make really amazing widgets for VG. You can check it out right here. We have a ton of amazing ones right here. You can simply import them using a QR code or a simple image. So that also is a big plus. The only caveat is that you can only use one slot for free. You have to pay for using the other slot. So that is the only caveat, but they are some of the best widgets in VG. So this is also worth checking out. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, give it a big thumbs up. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned for more because a lot of iOS 15 and iPhone 13 coverage is coming really soon. So stay tuned. Until then, please like, comment and subscribe. Peace.